everyone to E3 2014, the Sony Live press conference event. I'm Anthony Carboni. I'm Meredith Molinari. I cannot believe another year has passed. I'm so excited to be co-hosting with you again. Yeah, me too, me too. I cannot believe that just a year ago today we were standing right here yeah. for a huge E3, yes. the announcement of the PlayStation 4. Right. And it's been a year now. Everybody's got this thing. There's 7 million of them in people's homes. 7 million. Which means this year is actually a more exciting year for me because this is the year that's all about games. All about the games. What game, are you looking game, forward games. to? You know, there's a lot I'm really looking forward to. I'm really hoping that we get a closer look at the order. It looks so cool. I yep. really want to get a little more in-depth gameplay, so I'm really hoping for that. But you know me. I love my PlayStation Vita. Absolutely. And, um, there is this game out called Murasaki Baby, which <laughs> imagine, if you will, you know, Tim Burton and Edward Gorey had a child, that would be Murasaki Baby, and I cannot wait to get to the booth to play that this week. What Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, obviously the order, Drive Club, I'm looking forward to seeing. Yeah. Hopefully we see some more of that. And you know, it's it's interesting that you mention the indies and the big titles, because I feel like over the last year, PlayStation's really sort of cemented itself as this huge playground where any developer of yeah. any size can create something really, really amazing yeah. and creative. It's and a free-for-all for everybody. Absolutely. And we've got the team from the PlayStation blog here on the floor to talk to some of those developers and creators. And remember, we're going to be here at E3 all, all week. All week. <laughs> all week. And you can oh watch us live from start to finish every day on the show floor. You can either watch here or there is a yeah. app. There's an app you can download at the PlayStation Store. You can download the E3 app to your PS4 and you can watch us from home on your big screen in the comfort of your own living room. But if you don't have the chance to get the app, there's mm -hmm. other ways to watch. You can do the PlayStation blog, yep. uh, PlayStation.com, and yep. also we're on Ustream. We are on Ustream. So you can check us out there so check all week long. Out. Open to close all day, every day of E3. So yes. much exciting stuff about to happen here on stage in a few minutes, but also a lot of exciting stuff here on the floor of the press conference. As a matter of fact, talking yes. about all these great developers, we've got Justin Massengill down on the floor yes. with somebody, the creator of the biggest selling <laughs> game of all time. Alexi Pajitnov. Yes. Tetris. 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 It was like one of the first games we all played. I know. Justin, how you doing down there, man? Hey, everybody. We are here on the floor at PlayStation's E3 2014 press conference, and I have the distinct pleasure of being joined by one of my all-time gaming heroes, Alexi Pajitnov. Alexi, how's it going, man? Hi. Good. How are you? Uh, I'm great. I mean, I'm here speaking to the guy who made Tetris. This is a dream come true for me. Uh, welcome, first and foremost, to our show. Thank you. That's amazing. Everything is just great. Yeah, quite a production we got going on here, huh? So, uh, I understand that you are actually here to share some news with us tonight. Yeah, we have wonderful news. We have uh, Ultimate Tetris coming this fall for PS Vita. Awesome. Yeah, that's uh, Tetris Vita, which has been announced for PS4. We're hearing here first that it is coming to PlayStation Vita as well. That's awesome news. Yeah, that's great. Cool. So, this is actually the 30th year, the 30th anniversary of Tetris. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, so my game is still out for 30 years, and this is very, very good. I'm very proud of it. Yeah, awesome. So how many E3s have you been to, man? Well, uh, maybe eight, maybe nine. I, I can't remember. I was even on CES, which was before E3. Okay, well, it sounds like we're actually out of time, but thank you so much for joining us, Alexi. Uh, that's Tetris Ultimate coming to PlayStation V this fall. Thanks again for joining us. Now let's go check in with my good friend Ryan Clements. Good. Thank you, so, thank you so much, Justin. Thank you. And thank you to everyone tuning in at home and everywhere around the world. We so appreciate it. It's an honor for me to be here. And it's a double honor because I have a very special guest. I have Rue. Come in here. Come in here, sir. You, you are the co-founder of Ready at Dawn Studios and you guys are working on The Order 1886. Hello. Hi. You are not only a startlingly attractive man, but you guys have also done a lot. <laughs> you've done a lot of good work so far. Everybody that's seen the order just marvels at the visuals that you guys have done, the artistry and motion. It's it's amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about your creative process there? I mean, when we started this project, I mean, you know, the the, the goal was really to uh, to showcase not only what uh, what a game could be on PlayStation 4, but also, you know, showcase what the guys at Ready at Dawn can do. And actually, the guys are right behind sitting down there uh, I mean this is this is a work uh, this is our work of art it was 
you know, from the from the narrative to the motion capture system, like a way that we captured everything for the game itself, to uh, to the gameplay mechanics, to the graphics, the aesthetics that we basically built. This was a, a collaborative effort, effort to really showcase what the PlayStation could do, you know, especially with the PlayStation 4, this new generation of console. Beautiful. And what's it like working with actors that are not only motion capturing their entire performance, but you're also getting their voice capture, facial capture. I mean, everything in the game that yeah. we've seen is is just it's captured by real people. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's it's great because uh, we we had two camps on this game. Uh, we had uh, actors that have done motion capture. We had a lot of them that had never done motion capture, and just to get them in front of those cameras and to tell them, you know what, you don't have to look good just here. You have to look good everywhere. Whatever you do, we're gonna capture every motion that you have. They bring these characters to life, and uh, the beauty of it is to see from the very first shoot that happened, uh, I want to say about a year and a half ago, to the last shoot, like you know that we did. We've seen them grow and become these characters, and it's re really rewarding as a writer. Also, it's amazing to see that happen. And what are you most excited about with the Order 1886? Oh my God! Uh, you know what I'm most excited about is again, like it's uh, it's uh, getting it out and getting making this team proud. Awesome. Think, uh, the, the most important thing was that it was our chance to show the medal of a great group of people, and I can't wait to for it to come out. I love it. Thank you so much, Rue. And now let's check in with Sid, see what he's got going on. Hey guys, Bungie is in the building. I got my friend Deej here from Bungie. Come on in here. Uh, E3 again, I've got deja vu. I got deja vu all over again myself, my friend. Uh, it's absolutely surreal to be here in this building. Uh, this time last year, I was just backstage over there, waiting with my Bungie Fire team to come out here and deliver the worldwide gameplay reveal of Destiny. Uh, it's hard to even think that that was a year ago. Uh, so much has happened since then. Uh, we've been all over the world you know, to introduce this game to people. Uh, the world of Destiny itself has expanded outward in every direction. Uh, we're months away from launch uh, on September 9th. Uh, we're looking forward to a beta this summer where everybody can take their first steps in the shoes of a guardian and feel, you know, see what that feels like. And uh, this time at E3, we're back, but we didn't come down so that you could watch us play. We're going to take the game, we're going to put it into the hands of gamers, and we're going to let them play. So what's in store for folks at E3? What are they going to be able to try out for Destiny? We are going to open the competitive arena of Destiny. We're going to have Guardian battling Guardian for glory and bragging rights, and we're going to see who the most dangerous Guardian at E3 is this year. We're really excited about that because we haven't talked a lot about competitive multiplayer. It's something that our fans have been very curious about. Uh, you know, at Bungie, we certainly have uh, a great love for competitive multiplayer, and uh, we want to build on that heritage. So we're going to open the doors wide tomorrow, and people are going to come in, and they're going to try their skills in this explosive new sandbox that we've created for them. Outstanding. I've had a little, uh, the opportunity to play a little bit of the game, and i got to say, my favorite new weapon so far, Fusion Rifle. Definitely. Tell me a little bit about that one. Yeah, fusion Rifle is a lot of fun. It's good for engaging many targets at the same time. Uh, you got to charge it up before you let it off the chain. Uh, of course, everyone has their favorite weapon. Uh, I'm a belt-fed heavy machine gun guy. Uh, you know, there's a fierce debate raging in our studio between you know the burst fire uh, the scout rifle you know the semi-auto the full auto the hand cannon there's so many different guns in this game that I think lovers of shooters or any sort of action game are gonna find different weapons that really suit their fighting style and the first steps that they take into the competitive arena will be their opportunity to start to figure that out for themselves and then extending on you know into the summer when they all get to play in the beta and really start to figure out what it's like to create a character and watch as it becomes the embodiment embodiment of their own personal fighting style. So we can't wait. It's really great to be here. Awesome. Destiny back at E3 at the PlayStation press conference. Now, the show's getting ready to get started, but I think we've got an update from Anthony and Meredith, so I'll let them take it away. Oh man, you know what I love about both of those games that we just looked at, at yeah. The Order and at Destiny, is just the world building. Yeah. The reality is that they're building in these two different games. The design is absolutely phenomenal. And they're so completely different. But what I love is like when you take that made up historical time period, yeah. but yet you still play into that time that you're making it so it seems real even when it never really happens. And it's so expansive in the way that they create all these landscapes. It just blows my mind. Yeah, and you really know, right textured. now, with, with games like Destiny, in the order we really know more about the world than anything else yeah we're seeing little bits of gameplay here and there if you're looking forward to seeing more of this stuff we're gonna have it 
All we're going to have these games at the booth, so you're going to see what's going on here on stage, and then we're going to have these developers back for really in-depth demos, yeah. interviews. We're going to get to talk to the developers. They're going to show us that there's some footage that they brought with them. Some mm -hmm. of them are going to do some live gameplay. So it's going to be a really intensely packed week of just a lot of content you're not going to want to miss out on. So definitely check us out. PlayStation.com, PlayStation blog, Ustream.tv slash PlayStation, and of course, you can download the E3 app to your PS4 from the PlayStation Store. Okay. And now I think we're going back to the floor with Ryan Clements, who has something very exciting to talk about. Very with us. Exciting. Ryan, who you got down there? Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Meredith. You guys are both amazing human beings. I love you both. And uh, we're minutes away from the press conference starting. I can feel the energy. Might be sweat. Either way, I have one more special guest to introduce to you guys. Arian, get over here. You are the lead designer on Killzone Shadowfall Intercept. Yes. Now, for Shadowfall players that don't know what Intercept is, give it to us in a nutshell. All right, so uh, Shadowfall Intercept is a brand new four-player cooperative game, uh, and these four players will have to work together to survive an onslaught of enemy Helgas that are going to be coming in. Um, but besides the, the teamwork that people have, will have to go through, we also have exciting new bonuses like jetpacks and artillery strikes, so it's an all-new exciting package. You said jetpacks, right? Yeah, I said jetpacks, yeah. Perfect, perfect. Why did, why did you guys want to tackle four-player online co-op? Uh, so we looked at cooperative and it was like, okay, you know, what is it all about? It is all about teamwork. And we wanted to bring that sort of, you know, like a, to a challenging environment. So it's like four players having to work together to survive this. That sounded really interesting. So we got to work on that, and you know, it's and it's been really exciting to see people, you know, working together, talking to each other, cursing at each other, you know, to get things done. So it's it, it's really a lot of fun. Awesome, Arian. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good luck and continue, dude. Put it there. And uh, I have a great idea. Let's take a look at a brand new trailer cool. for Killzone Inner. Let's do it. Alright guys, been waiting on this all day. Who's playing medic? I was a medic last time. I'm gonna be the tactician. I'll be the medic, guys. Yeah, well, hang back. Don't be an idiot. But I've never been an idiot. I've got you back. Okay, we're spawning. Let's set up. Placing turrets over at A. My great placing in the bushes at A. I'm reviving you. Guys, we're losing some points. Let's get on it. I'll go bank for us. I'll cover you. Boom! Shakalaka! Go bank. Get us some jetpacks, too. Crap! Watch out! Teleporting snipers. There's a supply box near the wall. Turrets are down. Passenger spot. Who's getting it? Busy. I'm on my way. Got it. Coming home. I'll cover you. I'm staying back. They're all over you. Jetpacks it is. Just the jetpack. Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Yeah! yeah. Man, that looked good. If that wasn't enough shooter for you, I brought in the executive producer of Battlefield Hardline, Steve Papoutsis. Come on in, Steve. So you guys got some big news today. You guys uh, revealed a beta. Yeah, we certainly did. Uh, we announced a beta at our press conference. We had instant access, and a ton of people have jumped in, and it, it looks like people are having fun so far, I hope. Nice. So Battlefield Hardline, a little bit different. This isn't military. This is uh, cops and criminals. Tell me a little bit about the high-level gameplay. Well, the high-level gameplay really comes down to that cops versus criminal fantasy. It's uh, something that I think a lot of us have grown up with. Uh, you see it on TV. You see it in uh, the films. So really, when it comes to gameplay modes, what we're showing in our beta is heist, where the criminals are out to get a big score and the cops are trying to stop them, and then blood money, where there's a pile of cash that's sitting in the middle of the map, where the cops are trying to get that cash, bring it back as evidence, and of course, the criminals are trying to take it away. Nice. Now, one of the things, I got, I got a 
a couple of minutes to try it out, just barely enough to get a taste. But I really like there's like gear and gadgets. It really makes this very different than other Battlefield games we've played. That's right, Sid. We've got a wide variety of gadgets and weapons that are all new for Battlefield Hardline. A couple of my favorite are the zip line and the grappling hook. They really help with you getting around the environment. It really adds to the verticality of the map, and it can create some really cool moments and really neat getaways. Awesome. Well, that Battlefield Hardline beta, it's out now on PS4. Head over to EA.com. You can find out all the details or how to register for a chance to get in. But for now, I think we're getting closer and closer to the start of the press conference. Let's hear from Meredith and Anthony. It is crazy yeah. in here. The crowd is just getting so packed. Every time I look around here, around our little stage here and yep. all behind us, there are so many people here. Absolute full house. A yeah. lot of cool stuff that we've seen already and I it know. hasn't even started yet. So many more secrets to reveal. I'm really excited. I want to know what is going on. Me too. All right, well, we can't keep you any longer, so let's enjoy the show. called it the Traveler, and its arrival changed us forever. Great cities were built on Mars and Venus. Mercury became a garden world. Human lifespan tripled. It was a time of miracles. We stared out at the galaxy and knew that it was our destiny to walk in the light of other stars. But the Traveler had an enemy, a darkness which had hunted it for eons across the black gulfs of space. Centuries after our golden age began, this darkness found us. And that was the end of everything. That is, until I found you.
We've always known the darkness would return. To finish what it started. To take our home. That's why I've been looking for you for centuries. There are only a few of you who carry the light of the Traveler, who have the strength to fight the darkness. I'm not going to lie to you, Guardian. You are Earth's last hope. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Andrew House. Good evening. How are we doing? Thank you for being here tonight, and thanks to the millions of people uh, watching live across the world. It was only a year ago that I was on this very stage to introduce PlayStation 4 and share our vision for the future of gaming and entertainment. Our vision is grounded in an uncompromising commitment to gamers that ensures PlayStation is above all else the best place to play. And we know what best means. It means connected. It means the highest visual quality. It means choice, and it means not being a lone gamer, but a member of an extensive community of rivals and friends. The Destiny trailer that kicked off tonight's show is the embodiment of our vision. From its graphic fidelity, to its dynamic social experiences, to its deeply immersive gameplay, Destiny will help define this next generation of gaming. Like so many of the world's biggest and best games, you'll be able to play Destiny first on PlayStation. <laughs> Millions around the world have been eagerly awaiting the Destiny beta. Tonight, I'm excited to announce that PlayStation gamers will get their hands on it first, starting July 17th. And for those PlayStation fans who can't wait until next month for the beta to start, we've got something extra special for PS4. Starting this Thursday and lasting through the weekend, PS4 owners around the world will get a chance to play the Destiny First Look Alpha. Visit the website behind me, he says, hoping it's there to be a part of the first gameplay experience that is only available on PS4. But Destiny isn't just first on PlayStation, it's better. In addition to all of the extra content that only PlayStation customers will receive, I'm happy to announce our first ever white PlayStation 4 that comes
with an exclusive Destiny bundle that we'll make available when the game releases on September 9th. The bundle includes a 500 gigabyte Glacier White PS4, a white DualShock 4, the game, and a 30-day voucher for, PS for PlayStation Plus. Thank you to our friends at Bungie and Activision. Destiny looks stunning on PS4, and I know you're gonna love playing it on PlayStation. Destiny is just the tip of the iceberg in looking at all of the PlayStation 4 games that we'll show tonight that are either exclusive to PS4, look better, feature exclusive content, or the ability to pay it before any other platform. Let's now take a look at another new IP that will be available only on PlayStation 4. Hey, Green, come in. Power is out in the basement. Proceed with caution.
Pixel Opus. It's a small team made up entirely of recent graduates from two academic gaming programs, Carnegie Mellon's Entertainment Technology Center and the San Jose State University Animation and Illustration Program. We're here to show you our first game, Entwined. It's a game about two souls who are in love but can't be together. And here helping me demo the game are some of the other talented members of the Pixel Opus team. Entwine features a new twist on dual stick control that revolves around learning to guide two characters at once, one with each analog stick. And as you play, you must negotiate addictive sequences of obstacles that grow in complexity and speed. Over the course of nine unique lifetimes, you'll have to bring these characters together. And when you do, they'll transform into an incredible dragon. Each lifetime draws to a close with your dragon blazing a trail across the sky with living paint. And it lets you create your own aerial sculpture. Entwine is a unique gameplay experience, and our team really hopes that you all enjoy it. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Looks great. Hi, everybody. I'm Scott Rohde, head of Worldwide Studios for North America. <laughs> Thank you. If you couldn't tell, I absolutely love this game, and I'm really excited for that young team. It's a beautiful, mesmerizing experience. And here's the best part. You guys will not have to wait to get your hands on Entwined. The PS4 version is available right now in the PlayStation Store for $9.99. with PS3 and Vita to follow as part of our cross-buy program. You can even pull up your PlayStation app on your phone right now and order it, and it'll be waiting for you when you get home. <laughs> so just as Entwined surrounds you in beauty and mystique, the world of infamous Second Son immersed you in a visual spectacle and raised the bar on groundbreaking performance capture. The team at Sucker Punch has been developing a new piece of standalone DLC that will be available later this summer. You don't need to own Second Son to play the DLC, but if you do, you'll get some exclusive content. Please, let's take a look. Please, tell me what happened. Hello? <laughs> I'm Pete Smith, and I'm here today to show you Little Big Planet for the first time on PlayStation 4. So Sackboy's here, he's back, and he's very pleased to be here. And I'm going to take you through this level and show you some of the cool new features we've got in the game. So the first thing you'll notice is that we've got much more depth than we've ever had in the game before. I'm now going to collect one of the many new power-ups that Sapboy has in the game. This one's called the Pumpinator, and it can pump air, and I can use it to pump this wheel and reveal a completely new friend for Sapboy. This is Odd Sock. 
Hi, I'm Odd Sock, and what makes me different to Sap Boy? Well, for starters, I'm. Oh, I can wall jump. Yes, I can, guys, I can. <laughs> Ooh. Keep go attention going, guys, keep attention. <laughs> come on, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm also much faster than Sat Boy, and I can use my super speed to power things in the Little Big Planet world. And introduce you guys to a new friend called Toggle. Hi everyone, this is Toggle. As you can see, Toggle is the biggest of Sat Boy's new friends. And as well as being the biggest, he's also the strongest. So come on guys, I'm going to push this really heavy block and let you follow me through. Thank you, Toggle. Wait for me. Come on, Sat Boy. Sorry. Oh. Okay, so as well as being the biggest new character, Toggle can also become the smallest at the top of a button and fit through small gaps like this. <laughs> Now I'm going to turn back to Heavy Toggle and reveal another new character called Swoop. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Swoop. Woohoo! <laughs> so, although all of the new characters got fantastic, great new abilities, but none of them, like Swoop, can fly. to blast these spikes and let us all through. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Toggle. Oh. Come on. <laughs> okay, we both. Oh, they killed me. That wasn't meant to happen. Right, let's both go through together. This time, okay. guys, this time. Blow through. One, two, three. That's it. Yay. <laughs> so now with this, with this section, we need to get to the platform high up on the right. And we can all do it in different ways. So I'm going to, I'll start boys, one of start boys' new abilities, which is climbing. Toggle can wall jump, uh, sorry, odd stop can wall jump up. Toggle <laughs> can use his weights on the spring to go heavy and then small and launch himself up and sweep and fly up. Oh, oh, oh come and get me. Ah. Oh, we're all jumping. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Go get Sackboy. Okay, and you, Sackboy. Thank you. <laughs> so the abilities are really great when you cooperate together as well. So in this section, toggle if you go small and light. Swoop can pick you up and take you to a platform we can't get to. And make you go heavy. Great. And we can jump through. And we can move on. Alright, everyone, let's do some one go. One, two, three! Wait. You know, we've all worked together, guys. I'm gonna race you all now. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, this is the fastest. Oh my word. Oh, <laughs> that is definitely cheating. <laughs> there you go. Just wait for me. I'll be there, I'll be there. Come on, that boy. Okay, big jump. Uh, one, two, three, uh, go. Oh. Oh. That is so not my fault. There we go. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come on. There we go. There we go. <laughs> what do you do without your spikes again? <laughs> okay. Now this last section, Toggle can go down and pull the sponge and let us through. Brilliant. And I'll, as that boy, I'll use the pumpinator to return the favour. And then we can all get into the rocket. And we can blast off out of the level. Oh, Toggle, I think you're going to need to go heavy. Well done, everyone. Good stuff.
Thank you, everyone. We're going to go. We'll leave you with a little bit more of Little Big Planet on PlayStation 4. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I hope you enjoyed the demo of Little Big Planet 3. The creative community of Little Big Planet has been very active. And by today, over 8.7 million levels have been created and shared by the community on Little Big Planet and Little Big Planet 2. And I'm very happy to announce that when LBP3 launches, you can just go online and play any of this vast catalog of user-generated levels on LBP3. <laughs> With improved graphics on PS4. It's going to be great fun for the whole family this Christmas. But Little Big Planet 3 is just one of the great variety of titles that our Worldwide Studios teams are developing for PS4. And tonight, I get the honor of introducing a completely new IP from one of the industry's most respected Game, game directors. This is a project that is very dear to my heart if you know me and our history with the developer. Welcome to the world of Bloodborne.
Hi, everyone. I'm Alex Hutchinson, creative director of Far Cry 4. Our goal with Far Cry is to create beautiful, exotic, and dangerous locations, fill them with weapons, vehicles, and toys, and let you create your own story. This year with Far Cry 4, we invite you to visit Karat, a country soaked in secret history, filled with weaponized animals, and ruled by an eccentric despot. Good luck. The fortress you're looking for is called Ratchet Gaddy. Should be in the valley down below. Okay, I'll head in that direction. some help taking this place down. Herc, back me up. Someone call for a tub or a gyrocopter.
ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Adam Boys. That looks pretty great. I remember getting mauled a ton in, uh, by tigers in Far Cry 3, so I really look forward to getting a revenge in the Himalayan mountains with a weaponized pachyderm. I mean, come on. You know, this November, when you buy Far Cry 4 on either PS3 or PS4, you can invite your PSN friends to join you, even if they don't own the game. Wow. Yeah. And you'll only be able to do that on PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> Through social mediums like Twitter and Facebook, or forums like Reddit and NeoGAF, we are constantly connected to you, the gamers, all around the world. And we love hearing from you directly. Recently, we invited you to send us in some letters about how you feel of PlayStation and what kinds of games you want to see in the future. Let's check out some of those letters that you shared with us. A common theme that you guys wrote in about was zombies. I mean, who doesn't love us some zombie action? Let's see what's been festering in the undead department. Time to split. <laughs> Freaking awesome! Let's go! Dude, chill! I got this! Kill them all! Kind of gives a whole new meaning to the term fresh kicks, right? <laughs> At PlayStation, we love us some shambling goodness whether it's zombies, walkers, or the infected. Most of you know The Last of Us is coming to PS4. Yeah. But what you didn't know is that it's also going to be infecting Diablo 3 in the Ultimate Evil Edition launching August 19th. Yes. You'll be able to battle clickers, bloaters, and stalkers in an exclusive themed dungeon. And Blizzard has integrated them deeply into the game so they have their own special attacks. I seriously cannot wait to play Adventure Mode. Now, many of you also wrote in and thanked us for bringing you special perks and benefits on PlayStation. And we love nothing more than trying new things and bringing new opportunities to you, the PlayStation Nation, before anybody else. Now, you just saw Dead Island 2 debut. It will have a 30-day exclusive beta, as well as a full exclusive character class and level, only on PS4. And earlier today, we are part of EA's announcement of a special beta for Battlefield Hardline. It's available right now exclusively for consoles on PS4. Battlefield Hardline takes the cops and robbers fantasy we all played when we were kids, but then it goes to a whole new level with awesome action, stunning visuals, 
and a grappling hook. Come on. Now let's take a look at an exclusive new world premiere gameplay trailer for Battlefield Hardline. Sky 5 can confirm a large police presence in downtown Los Angeles. We got an RPG! All units, we have confirmation that a 211 is underway. Your charge is good! Go, go, go! Grappling hooks and zip lines, that is my jam. <laughs> and you know, Play at First isn't limited just to betas. We're happy to announce a new partnership with Disney, which will bring exclusive content to our platform this year. The only place you can Hulk smash in Disney Infinity 2 at launch will be on PlayStation platforms. The Incredible Hulk will join five other Avengers in this exclusive Disney Infinity 2 Collector's Edition for PS3 and PS4. Pretty cool. And finally, as Andy mentioned earlier, there's always going to be more of Destiny on PlayStation. On launch day, you're gonna get an incredible amount of exclusive in-game content, from unique weapons, armor sets, gear, kick-ass ships, as well as Exodus, an exclusive competitive multiplayer map. And the best part, an entire exclusive strike on Mars. Strikes are standalone, unique, co-op opportunity or co-op adventures where you get to battle epic bosses. There's literally too much great content to detail tonight. But needless to say, when Destiny comes to PlayStation this year, it will do so first, bigger, and better than on Hulk any other platform. Smash. Hulk Smash is right. <laughs> now a lot of you ask for brand new things that you've never seen on the platform before. This next partner is a great example of that. I'm proud to announce a new partnership with Paradox Interactive. Every single Paradox studio is currently working on an exclusive PlayStation 4 game. And here's a look at their first one. Paradox is proud to present User Created Open World. Jikatu, learn to spell again. I think, uh, I think I know how to spell pretty well, and I'm pretty sure that's not how you spell Magicka, but uh, just saying. Of all the thousands of letters we received, there was some kind of special and odd about this next one. New it, PlayStation. I heard that the new PlayStation 4 can do anything. Can it do miracles? I'm only 12 years old, so I was not alive when some of the best games ever made came out. Now a lot of them are gone forever. The player masterpiece. 
like for instance one of Tim Schafer's old adventure games, I would have to pirate it, and that's not nice. Please, is there anything you can do to bring great games, like one of Tim Schafer's Back from the Dead? Sincerely, Sally T, H10. I think somebody's trolling me. Okay, so she was 12 at first, now she's 10. There's a fingerprint, let's move that over. That's got knuckle hair, I think that's a 10 or 12 year old. Let's pan it up a bit. That's not a 12 year old's beard. Okay, bring it all the way out. That's Tim Motherfucking Schaefer. Okay, Sally, all right. We have some great news for you and the fans. After 15 years, Double Fine, in tandem with our third-party production team, will be remastering your classic adventure game, Grim Fandango. It will be coming exclusively to both PS4 and PS Vita, thanks to the relationship with our good friends at Disney. Looks like it's time to get to work, Sally. Maybe start with a little shave. Sally, Tim, Sally, Tim, Sally, Tim. Um, you've also told us that you guys love a wide range of crazy and diverse games. This next partner shares our love and support of independent, independent developers and has brought fantastic games and fantastic games to PlayStation like Vlambeer's Luftrausers and Denetton's Hotline Miami. Devolver Digital and their main man, Fork Parker, have been working on an awesome slate of new titles, and we've officially joined forces. All of the following titles you're about to see will be making their console debut exclusively on PlayStation platforms. wonder, will you love us for having created you? Will the world you build be like ours, or so different that we today cannot even imagine it? Your will is free because you were made to be free. Let your will be done. You know, after watching the likes of Brobocop and Bronan the Brobarian and Broforce, I can't help but bro out all of our PlayStation names. We've got Andrew Brohouse, Scott Brody, Bro Hey Bro Sheeta, right? Okay, I'll move, yeah, I'll move along. So here's another letter that we got that I really liked. Every time I play a game, I get to experience the imagination of an artist, and you'll never know where that will take you. This is absolutely true. The breadth of incredibly creative and original games regularly astounds me. One creator who has always pushed artistic boundaries in gaming with inspired stories and offbeat worlds is Suda51. Yeah. Yeah. And his next twisted trip is only coming to PlayStation 4. Let's check it out.
Video games, right? <laughs> you know what that game doesn't remind me of? Journey. <laughs> Journey took us on an incredible adventure, in part thanks to Matt Nava's stunning art direction and composer Austin Wintory's Grammy-nominated score. They're teaming up again at Matt's new studio, Giant Squid. Let's see the world premiere of their brand new game. Beautiful. And Abzu will make its exclusive console debut on PS4. Just look at this staggering range of content coming to PlayStation Network, all of it pushing creativity and innovation. Thanks to all the developers for bringing your amazing games to PlayStation. It means a ton to us. Thank you for the letters, and thanks to all of our fans for loving games the same way we do. I can't believe I get to do this every single day. Please keep the feedback coming. We're always listening. Our goal at PlayStation is pretty simple, to surprise and amaze you, and we're just getting started. So I'm gonna leave you guys with one last game that surprised and amazed me, and will make its console debut on PS4. Please enjoy.
Thank you. Feeling a lot of emotions right now. Uh, I'm Sean. I'm from Hello Games. We're a tiny little indie studio. And we're a group of friends making No Man's Sky. It's a science fiction game, I guess inspired by the kind of sci-fi that I grew up with. The battered book covers of Heinlein, Asimov, Clark. Just worlds that I wanted to escape to but never could. We've created a procedural universe. It's infinite and it's one that everyone can share. We're going to start every player on a different planet so no two people will have the same experience. This universe that we've created, it's, it's so vast, it's so boundless, it's actually infinite. And we don't even know what's out there. But when the game releases, every player who picks up a pad and plays is going to help us discover a little bit more. And I can't wait. I want to finish with just a tiny taste of what your own unique journey into infinity might look like. Hope you like it. Wow, mind slightly blown. Thank you very much, Sean, and, and thanks to Adam. Uh, a key focus for tonight has been demonstrating why PlayStation delivers the best place to play today and in the future. You've seen that in the diverse portfolio of games coming from our worldwide studios and our close partners. And we're also bringing this to life in new ways with hardware. When we designed PS4, we made a conscious decision to make it the most powerful gaming console ever created and surround it with breakthrough games, features, network capabilities, and peripherals that together would redefine next-gen gaming. A key peripheral that we've offered to PS4 gamers since launch as a choice is the PlayStation camera. We believe that the PlayStation camera would be a popular option because of the value it provides for more immersive gaming, but the response has far exceeded our expectations. And we're enhancing the value of the PlayStation camera and what it brings to PS4 by pursuing new, innovative technology that takes gaming to an entirely new dimension. At GDC in March, we unveil Project Morpheus, which demonstrates how we are fully leveraging the power of the PlayStation camera. The response from the development community and gamers was phenomenal. All of your voices have been heard, and today there are creative teams around the world working with us to define the future of gaming and entertainment. We have Project Morpheus in our booth at E3 this year with two new demos, so I encourage all of you to stop by and try it. Up next is someone who has a 15-year history at PlayStation. That includes eight years at Worldwide Studios in London, and he also served as president of Sony Computer Entertainment Japan. I've personally known him for more than 20 years, and when I think of the game behind me, I can't help but think of him. He was most recently the COO of Sony Network Entertainment, and now as president and CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment America, he's charged with, quite simply, making sure PlayStation completely surpasses your wildest expectations. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Sean Layden.
Thank you, Andy. And, thank, and thanks to all of you for the, for the really warm welcome uh, out here on stage. Wow, there's a lot of people in this room. I've been to every E3 except the very first one, from Atlanta, from LA to Atlanta, then back to LA. I've sat where all of you are sitting now, but never thought for a second that I might have the honor and privilege of being on this stage before all of you. And while it is a great honor to be here, I gotta say that the strongest emotion I'm feeling right now is excitement. And, and more than a little pressure. But I'm completely and utterly thrilled to be here. As you've witnessed already, the thirst for innovation at PlayStation is tremendous. Our lineup of genre and blockbusting titles is a testament to that. And our desire to bring great games to all of you is matched by our commitment to bring a great gaming experience throughout the world of PlayStation. So let's start by talking about PSN. Our network is robust and ever-evolving to deliver the experience gamers want. And we have heard loud and clear what you're looking for, powerful ways in which to share your experiences and connect with your friends and the growing PlayStation community. To that end, we continue to bring new tools to the PS4 faithful to enable that desire for shared experience, such as Share Factory and the photo mode in Second Son. And we'll continue to enhance our features that redefine how, when, and where gamers play. A quick look at that reality is frankly awesome. Nearly 95% of PS4s worldwide are connected to the network. And the social activity is astounding. More than one and a quarter billion hours have been spent gaming. More than one billion multiplayer sessions have been played on PS4 since launch. That's a lot of deathmatch. The share button on the DualShock 4 has been pressed 220 million times as gamers invite friends and the community to check out their gameplay. And that last metric will climb even higher when we bring YouTube to PS4 later this year. With the simple press of the DualShock 4 share button, PS4 gamers will be able to quickly upload video captures to their YouTube channel. You will also be able to see your friends' shared YouTube videos in your What's New activity feed. PS4 is also the first console to allow you to live broadcast and spectate game sessions. Already, more than 150 million spectate sessions have been viewed on PS4, and we're constantly innovating this experience as well. Look, when you're watching at home some schlock horror movie, sometimes haven't you felt the need to, or the desire to scream at the, the television screen, look out behind you or don't open that door? Well now, only on PS4, you can effectively do just that while spectating and they will get the message. Not only can you watch someone's gameplay in real time, you can now interact with that person's game experience while they're playing. You can help them, you can harm them, it's up to you. But you're right there with them. This is another way we're going to redefine what social gaming can really mean. This summer, we will further enhance PS4's broadcasting capabilities with some new content for The Playroom. The free DLC will allow you to easily create your own custom broadcasting sets so you can further personalize your message and content for the wider gamer community. Never losing sight of what has always made PlayStation great, we're using the network to bring you more of what you want awesome gaming experiences. Games that are epic and challenging, and games that are more accessible, such as free to play. We're committed to making game PlayStation the best destination for free to play games. Free to play offers a great way to discover new worlds and experiences. And we think this category will explode on PlayStation in the coming years. Right now, 
we have more than 25 free-to-play games coming to PS4 in the next 12 months, including Kingdom Under Fire 2 from Blueside, Planet Side 2 from Sony Online Entertainment, there you go, and Guns Up from Valkyrie Entertainment. And on PlayStation, at point of entry, free to play means free to play. Let's take a look at that. Free to play, what more do I have to say? Okay. There you go. We just talked about ease of entry and the joy of discovery. And at PlayStation, we continue to develop and innovate simple ways to access content. PlayStation Now, fueled by the power of the network, will provide our community with access to our massive gaming libraries, starting with PlayStation 3 titles. We have continued to tweak and refine PS Now since its initial beta test, and are proud to announce that the service will be available in the United States and Canada as an open beta on PS4 starting July 31st. Shortly after that, PS Now will become available on PS3 and PlayStation Vita as well. We also, we also want to unlock our library of games to those who still don't own a PlayStation device. So later this year, we're bringing the PlayStation Now experience to select Sony televisions. If PS Now is available in your area, all you need to do is get a DualShock 3 and you're able to play our vast catalog of games. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. During the open beta, PlayStation gamers will have access to more than 100 PS3 games from the industry's best publishers, our own worldwide studios, as well as the best of the indie development community. In our booth at E3 this week, you can play such major hits as Dead Space 3, God of War Ascension, Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus, and Ultra Street Fighter 4. We'll use the open beta, continue to listen to your feedback and gather insights about your experience with the service. We'll also work with our publishing partners to test a range of rental durations and prices. We do look forward to hearing from everyone who participates in the beta, as your voice will have a direct impact on the development of our service. Bringing PlayStation Now to PlayStation Vita is another example of our commitment to the platform. With PS Now, 
Vita will have the best catalog of games available on a mobile device. And the only mobile device with access to the deep library of PlayStation games. Innovation on Vita continues, and its integration with PlayStation 4 has expanded the way gamers use the device. Remote play gives Vita owners quick access to PS4 games, and the response has been overwhelmingly positive. With remote play, PS4 blockbusters, such as Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed, will further showcase PlayStation Vita as the ultimate mobile platform. In total, there are more than 100 Vita titles in development today, including Tales of Hearts R from Namco, Ubisoft's beautifully hand-drawn RPG, Child of Light, and Telltale's mashup with Gearbox, Tales from Borderlands. Minecraft is also coming to Vita, and it will be the full console experience with co-op included. You got some Minecraft fans. PS Vita will remain a key pillar for us, and we look forward to sharing more gaming experience across Vita dedicated titles, PlayStation Now, and PS4 Remote Play. At Tokyo Game Show last year, we announced another new... It will give you access to video and music streaming services, will give you the ability to play hundreds of PS3 titles made available through PlayStation Now. And of course, PlayStation TV will also play most Vita titles, as well as PS1 and PSP classics. In fact, our Disney partnership continues with Disney Infinity 2 coming to PlayStation TV and PlayStation Vita early next year. In total, that's nearly 1,000 games that PlayStation TV owners will have access to at launch. PlayStation TV will be available for $99. We will also offer a bundle for $139 that will include a DualShock 3, an 8 gigabyte memory card, an HDMI cable, and a digital voucher for the Lego Movie video game. New games, new hardware, new network services. The pace of innovation at PlayStation continues to accelerate. And as our world expands, we will stay true to our roots to create imaginative games that foster fun while pioneering new gaming concepts. A little earlier, I was delighted to hear Andy give a shout out to one of the most iconic games of our time, Vib Ribbon. Yeah, give it up for Vib Ribbon. A personal favorite of mine that really embodies the PlayStation spirit. It wasn't a multi-million seller, but that's not the point. Vib Ribbon was unafraid to go against the tide. It was courageous in its ambition, and it brought a completely new experience to gamers. It's an incredible time to be part of the PlayStation family. I look forward to growing our gaming community through breakthrough experiences that inspire and delight. After all, guys, it's all about the games, isn't it? And speaking of games, in 1996, I got my start at PlayStation in Japan, importing and localizing games from the US and Europe for the Japanese market. That's kind of like trying to import wine into Napa Valley. <laughs> but one of the first games we localized was Mortal Kombat 3 on PS1. <laughs> the game that introduced the concept of fatality to the Japanese gamer. That's why it's a tremendous pleasure and a unique thrill for me to introduce on this stage the worldwide premiere of gameplay footage for Mortal Kombat X. Yeah. 